लैप्रोस्कोपिक नेफ्रेक्टमी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स लैप्रोस्कोपिक नेफ्रेक्टमी कैन बी कैन बी डन अप टू टेन सेंटीमीटर्स ओनली बियॉन्ड दिस टेन सेंटीमीटर्स वी हैव टू गो फॉर अ नोटे so now let us uh, discuss a very important treasure with you students now this is the staging for rcc renal cell cancer now when we talk about renal cell cancer what are the most important things one of them is the staging now when we talk about the staging we have t1 and what is t1 any tumor less than equal to a size of 7 cm in that also the most important thing is what is t1 a and what is t1 b t1 a is any tumor less than equal to 4 cm and t1 b is a tumor more than 4 up to 7 cm now what is the significance of this for t1 a patients we prefer to go for nephron sparing surgery what is nephron sparing surgery nephron sparing surgery is nothing but partial nephrectomy it's a partial nephrectomy and when we talk about a t1 b tumor more than 4 cm onwards we go for radical so t1 b onwards we go for radical nephrectomy one very important thing that we all have to understand that this is not the only criteria for partial versus uh, radical we also have a score which is known as a renal score when we talk about a renal score this is again very 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 important r stands for the radius r stands for the radius that is less than 4 cm more than 4 cm e stands for exophytic versus endophytic so exophytic versus endophytic then n stands for nearness with calyces so nearness with calyces or you can say nearness with the collecting system basically collecting system then a stands for entero posterior diameter and then l stands for location where it is located located at the superior pole located at the inferior pole located at the hilum where it is so this is what is renal score which again helps you to decide whether to go for partial versus radical nephrectomy now again coming back to t2 is more than 7 but again t2 is defined as t2a and t2b when we talk about t2a more than 7 up to 10 and t2b more than 10 now what is the significance here what is the significance laparoscopic nephrectomy always remember students laparoscopic nephrectomy can be can be done up to 10 cm only beyond this 10 cm we have to go for a nephrectomy then t3 is again important what are the important things renal sinus renal fat so renal fat segmental vessels and and renal sinus invasion into the ivc is t3b or t3c depends upon whether the extension of this tumor thrombus is below the level of diaphragm if it is then it's a t3b if it is going above the level of diaphragm into the ivc it's a t3c then t4 yes this is ipsilateral xerotas fascia ipsilateral xerotas fascia or ipsilateral adrenal gland so this is what is the classical staging the older name of staging was a robson staging which was old and therefore it is no more use in order to keep the n very simple if the lymph nodes are present it's n1 regional lymph nodes are present if it is not then it is n0 and you know the staging system is also very easy so t1 n0 m0 is stage 1 stage 2 is t2 n0 m0 t3 is t3 n0 m0 or if n is positive any t up to t3 and what is t4 if it is a t4 or if it is any t with m to be 1 so this is very 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 simple t1 n0 m0 1 t2 n0 m0 2 t3 n0 m0 is 3 or t1 to t3 with n positive and if it is t4 either it is a 4 if it is t4 n0 m0 it's a, obviously a stage 4 or if it is any stage with metastasis subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder